The Otter women's basketball team back in action Saturday looking for its first win of the season at the ECA Conference Challenge in Hayward. Otters squaring off against Western Oregon University and this game went to the Otters almost wire to wire. McKenna Hill scoring two of her team high 13 points. The long jumper, Brianna Tucker, the promising looking freshman with a three pointer. And Michaela Harris coming off the bench strong again for the second second day. A little jump hook there. But Jasmine Johnson owned this game, finishing with a double-double to lead the Otters to the 59-50 win. You know, I thought we made adjustments from the first game to the second, and I thought we improved on that for today. Um, and we'll continue to work on the things that we got exposed today and continue to grow. Um, Jazz is kind of a quiet scorer and rebounder. You don't realize she has the stat line she does until you look at the stats. But she was huge for us today, grabbing old boards, getting sneaky behind their matchup zone, and getting easy layups and putbacks for us. So we really needed that, especially today when we needed every basket we could get. Well, let's take a look at the final box score again. You see the Otters winning this one 59 to 50. McKenna Hill again with 13 points. Jasmine Johnson ties her career high with 14 rebounds. And well, the team stats show the Otter defense winning this game. CSU and B forcing 15 turnovers and holding the Wolves to just six assists. And the Otters winning at least one game opening weekend for the eighth consecutive season. CSU and B continues its eight game season opening road trip next Saturday at Holy Name University. And our spotlight player, who else but Jasmine Johnson, with her fifth career double double and first of the season. 